love how he's even got a little fish in there. Very cool. So welcome to Gananoque, Ontario, the self-named gateway to the Thousand Islands. So I've been coming to Gananoque for many years. It's only about a 20-minute drive from Kingston, and this is where my ex-wife's family is from, and uh, the family cottage was just down the road on the Thousand Island Parkway, which is one of the videos I'd like to do this summer. Uh, the Thousand Island Parkway is part of the Great Waterfront Trail, and the Great Waterfront Trail as well comes from Kingston and you go right through Gananoque to connect with it for those of you that are, want to do a really nice bike tour. Um, and really, really pretty town, quite historic. Uh, very touristy in the summer. They have some uh, boat tours here as well. There's a casino. So today we're going to take on a little cycle tour through, see some of the highlights of this quaint little town of about 5,000 people nestled in the St. Lawrence River and one of the nicest towns I would say in eastern Ontario. Enjoy. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly. So, we're just getting started. We stopped at this little dam. It's a nice place to start. It's absolutely beautiful. The water rushing. We'll have to go down and take a look at the uh, little statues there, like the herrings and whatnot. It's kind of cool. Well, I just turned on to King Street now, which is, this is all part of the Great Waterfront Trail. It's like I said, it'll take you through town, hook you up with the uh, parkway. You can see a sign there, right there. Riva Restaurant, a really nice spot in there. That's the kind of town that Christine and I love to explore. There's always little beautiful hidden gems in these types of places. lines. There's a cruise right there. Cruise ship. Beautiful little sand beach here. Isn't that beautiful? This is really nice down here. It's a boat museum. Some little buildings, shops that are thriving in the summer, a bit early yet. And restaurants. So just to the right here is where all the, the boats dock for the cruises. Wow. Mm, beautiful Thousand Islands. Tricky to walk in these cycling shoes, but it's part of the Gananoque River. Flows right into the St. Lawrence, really pretty. More water views. It's heading on to South Street. 
in the fire hall theater. Well, the fire hall theater is part of the Thousand Islands Playhouse. It's been around a long time. It's a very popular place to come see shows. Christine's meandering behind me, taking it all the lovely homes, all the colors popping on the trees. So we're more on the east end of King Street, heading here out of town. So this would be the way you would go if you're heading to the Thousand Island Parkway. It's not as pretty as the, the section where we started. You can see coming up this sign, we drove through her many times as a family with the kids, and the kids would always say, G-A-N-A-N-O-T-U-E, let's go for Gananoque. It was so cute. Uh, we're just passing under the Thousand Island Parkway. We're just looking for the trail now to get on. There's a, a trail that goes beside the actual parkway, and it's absolutely beautiful. So we'll, we'll get you on part of that. She wants to explore that for a little bit. Here we are, right here. These rocks here to the right are very common in the Canadian Shield, which this whole area, again in Aqua, and is all part of a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its geology. There's the lovely Christine. Hi again, everybody. It's her first time on the Thousand Island Parkway. And her first. Woo! 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 We're just going to give you a little sampler today. AKA keeping it simple and easy for Christine. Yeah. <laughs> That's we're, code. We're actually hoping to make it to Landon Bay, which you'll see in an upcoming video of the hike that you can do in there, which is another stellar hike in this area really really pretty it's another big high lookout over the thousand yeah islands. it's definitely if you're coming this way you want to check that out take a day off the bike and go hike in there and if you have dogs they will love it yeah, it's gonna take your road across the road we park there sometimes and actually we go swimming here with the dogs Way back now from to get an aqua, had a nice little stop at Landon Bay. Christine was tempted to jump in the water, but it's a bit too cold yet. Yeah. We're doing the big fat snake that we saw, it's swimming around together. Yeah, I'll put a, a picture in now of the snake we saw last summer at Lake Otero Park. Same kind of snake devouring a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if everybody can stomach that. No, well, they'll take it. My viewers are robust. That's a nice touch. Very nice. It's only been Christine and I and, and uh, one other couple we saw on e-bikes at the start. Of course, we haven't gone very far in the parkway, but for a beautiful day, I'm a little surprised. But even in the middle of summer, You'll see some cyclists, but considering how great it is to cycle on for road cyclists, any kind of cyclist, leisure, this tra trail here isn't particularly busy. Oh, there's a fox crossing. You see that sign? <laughs> I believe that's... A walleye or a muskie, sorry. Yeah, it's well known these waters for some pretty big muskies. Remember the cottage used to have a a stuffed muskie in it. 
always fascinated the kids. We're just coming up on the, the nicest part of the downtown here. to patio season again. There's a town hall there and then Pretty over here, that pedestrian bridge, an old railway bridge, is not open right now, but... So there's a little tour of beautiful Gananoque by bike and a little bit of a glimpse of the Thousand Island Parkway as well. I hope you enjoyed that. It's um, an area, like I said, I've been coming to for many years and Christy and I have explored it by virtue mainly of finding Landon Bay and the trails and some of the beautiful areas around here. So we ended up doing about 20 kilometers, including our little stint on the parkway. So what did you think of that? I thought it was a great, beautiful ride and it gets the Christine stamp of approval once again in terms of not being too challenging, but being able to go for a really nice, long, long ride. And it's beautiful any time of the year. I think this is probably the nicest day we've had of the year too. So it just makes it so nice, all the trees popping and you know, the, the water and the water views. It's just really the kind of ride that we love to do. So, mm -hmm. so thanks for following along. Make sure you sub like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.